All right. Hello, everybody. This is Zach 99 back with another First Impressions review. This is a new Brick Breaker game that came out uh, just a few days ago, back on November the 1st by Pickpock. And this one is a game that would normally excite me because uh, I love the old Shatter from like back in 2009. Played the crap out of this game on my old PS3, and I really loved it. Uh, it really put a big twist on the old Brick Breaker style games and, you know, had a lot of action and it was just a ton of fun. I think the game came in at $10 back in 2009, 2010 on my PS3. I know I paid $10 for it here on Steam some years later. And now the original Shatter is down to just $2, $1.99 USC. Uh, and now they came out with a remastered deluxe. So we see this game is getting 53% positive reviews. Uh, it's real mixed right now. And the people that are not liking it are saying, hey, it's no better than your $1.99 version. In fact, in some ways, it's a lot worse. Uh, like it's, they say it uh, doesn't perform as well, it doesn't look as good, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Shattered uh, Remastered Deluxe, see if it's worth your $10 price tag, and compare it to the original from 2010 here on Steam. And we'll do that right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody. We've launched the game from Pickpock, our first time playing, and this is what we see. Shatter Remastered Deluxe. Love the audio, for sure. All right, take a quick look at our options. Let's go ahead and turn the music down some, as much as I like it. And we'll leave it about like that. Okay. So the game promises 4K resolution, but I don't see that here. But then again, the highest resolution I have is 1920 by 1080. So I'm assuming if the game detects that you have 4K, it'll offer that as a an option here. So I can't do any better than it's low, medium, and high for quality. No other graphic options uh, there. So we can blow objects away, we can suck them in. We have, a, you control the ball with blow and suck. Your position will affect the direction. Uh, Multi-balls, use space to release the ball. Uh, release more for a higher score. Shards, destroy blocks, two free shards. Suck them in to gain power. A shard storm. Power bar fully charged. Use E to unleash a devastating shard storm. You have power-ups, you have shields. Press F to shield and protect yourself. Uh, shield drains your power, however. A shield storm or ricochet shards using shield F and uh, mouse together. Uh, score toggle. In story mode, use tab to switch the score display between world and the mode score and target score. Okay, so there's quite a bit to this game. It's a lot more than a regular brick breaker for sure. Um, okay, WASD for player one. Bat speed. So you can control how fast your your guy moves. Let's go down to 0.9 and let's go back here and let's jump in, shall we? Let's get on with it. I like the intro. I like the old intro like this back in the original Shatter as well. I remember this game blowing me away back at the PlayStation, you know, 13 years ago, uh, 2009. Yeah, I loved it. Anomaly detected. Containment Unit 160.5 Subject Bat Batty 138 Preach! Preach! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Kinetic Harvest Escape. So I like that every level has its own name. And I can use the mouse to move up and down as well. I like that. So I don't have to use WASD. so I can blow and I can suck. I can suck all that shit in. Okay, that's really cool. Oh, except I sucked my ball right past me. Yeah, I suck. 
But look at that, already 106,000 points. This game gives you so many points, and I remember the old Shatter did as well. Like, it's just point overload. Like, you don't even have to be good, and you can score millions of points in this game. Suck all that shit in. And then that bar that we're filling up for the uh, storm or whatever that we could launch is down at the bottom. Like, maybe a quarter full. So we need a lot more fucking blue shards, if you would. Now we're getting close to about 40%, maybe? So if you suck in, you gotta be really careful you... You know, suck that ball into you. Really colorful, really vibrant, and with a mouse, this is working really well. I hold left mouse button in to suck all the shit in, and I would hit right mouse button to blow, so I can kind of blow the ball away from me like that. And then I can suck in the other shit, and then blow the ball back instead of just hitting it. So I got a 23 times multiplier, and like I said, I haven't done shit yet. I haven't played this game in over 12 years, guys. Uh, back on the original PS3 when I played the original Shatter. And, uh, yeah, I haven't done shit. And I already got 2 million points. Just saying. The music is hypnotic. The music is fucking great. Now, I remember the music being really good in the original Shatter as well. I don't remember if this is one of the original Shatter songs. It sounds a lot like it. Pretty sure this is a very familiar song. So I think they're I think they're using the, the same song. And if it's not, it sounds a lot like it. But I certainly wouldn't blame the developer for using the same song because the original music from the original Shatter was fantastic. Okay. So we don't we can't do the blow storm or whatever. Because I had don't have a full bar, so I'm gonna have to hit these motherfuckers. Let's blow it. Blow it into the bricks, there we go. Yeah, I love how it goes into a different level. Wave two. Launch the ball. Press space to launch balls. Launch more for greater scores. Okay, let's launch. Let's get a couple going here. So most brick breaker games require you to like break a brick or whatever to get more than one ball. But this one says, hey, if you can handle two balls, like if you can handle more than two balls, go ahead and launch them. I like that. So you kind of get to choose, like, you know, do you want to take the risk of four balls at once or whatever? Go for it, man. I need to suck all this shit in, but I got so many fucking balls out there. I got too many balls, man. And I know there's women out there looking at me or listening to this, rolling their eyes. I got too many balls. And they're like, sure, sure, show off. Mm -mm. Oh. Blow, blow. Now suck. Wow, we already cleared that level. We are a multi-millionaire now, over six million, and we're only on wave three. Yeah, the music, I tell you what though, I mean, not only is it great gameplay, but, oh, we filled up our whole bar. Press E to trigger a devastating storm. Let's do it. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Look at all the vibrant colors. Look at the power of that. And then we got all this busted shit we can suck in. And once you clear all the bricks, you're out of there. Even if you're about to miss a ball or whatever, it says, don't worry about it, bro. Don't worry about it. We got you. Now we're back on the original. Look at that. Okay, real quick, guys. I want to go in and I want to see if I can... My sensitivity with my mouse is really fucking fast. So I'm going to slow this down to like, like that. And then go back. Resume game. Yeah, that's a lot better. I'm still moving really fast, I'm just saying. Okay. But, like, even if I use WASD, it's still really fast. But I like just using the mouse. Just the mouse controls are superb with this game. Eight million points. Look at that shit. Launch another fucking ball, why not? Oh fuck, I missed it though. Like, that was a total waste. So you earn more balls down in the bottom left, it looks like. I use it, so I have one left. So you can't just, like, launch an unlimited number of balls. Like, you are limited. You gotta earn them, baby. Just the music of this game puts me in a good mood, I'm just saying. 
And if you have music that good that you're just playing a fucking game, the kind of game that you like, but the music is like making you bop your head and just put you in a groovy kind of mood, like you got a fantastic game. Now I know a lot of people were saying that, I mean the original Shatter is great, especially for the price tag of $1.99. We're going to go back and take a look at that before I end this video. And I want to really see, by playing the original for a few minutes, I want to see if I really think this is worth the extra 8 bucks by getting the remastered brand new version. Fuck that shit in. Oh, fuck. So you gotta, you really gotta decide what you want to do. Like, do you suck in the shit? And if you do, is it worth the risk of maybe if you have three or four balls out there, you don't want to suck. You want to wait till you only have one ball to suck. I know you got you perverts out there are thinking all kinds of naughty thoughts right now, but hey, I'm just talking about the game here, guys. Sucking and blowing and my balls and all that. The only good thing is I'm saying I'm sucking in the blue shit. Could you imagine what you guys would be thinking if I said, yeah, imagine if all the brick pieces were white. And I was like, let me suck up that white shit. Yeah, I know. I know you guys. Let's blow that shit. Blow that shit into the bricks. There we go. How cool is that? Bounce it up there. Blow it, blow it, blow it, blow it, blow it. There we go. We got it. And then I know you have boss battles as well in this game. Like, you had boss battles against snakes and, like, scorpions and all kinds of shit made out of these bricks and stuff like that in the original. And that was pretty fun. They were called them, like, boss fights or whatever. I don't know what this fucking orange gem is. Oh, that's a shield. Hold the shield to... Man, there's so much going on. We'll suck some of this shit in. We just gotta hit a couple more bricks there. There we go. We got them. Wave seven, baby! Maneuver ball. Let's blow. Blow it! Blow it back. Blow. Bounce. Love it. Blow it. Man, I'll wait until I master this game and see how many points I score, right? Like, this is my first time playing Shatter in so many years. This is... Shatter Remastered. We'll wait till I become a master of Shatter Remastered. Wink. Fuck all that shit in. The graphics look fantastic. I don't know what these people are talking about, how the graphics don't look as good as the original. Because these graphics are superb here. And I'm not seeing a hiccup at all with the gameplay. The gameplay is smooth as fuck. Like, I don't know if people are playing this in 4K and maybe they're getting a hiccup only when played in 4K or what. But... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any kind of hiccups at all. And I don't have, like, a kick-ass, you know, computer or nothing like that. Alright. There we go, we got it. Yeah, I'm more than happy with my... Oh, we got a boss here. I am more than happy with my fucking... Okay, we need to hit F so we get that. Oh, no, it's not... Oh, shit. I gotta dodge this motherfucker. Oh, I F to launch the attack. I thought I did that. So I have to... Oh, F is the uh, shield. My bad. Space is a bar. I thought it was E to do the attack. I must not have F a shield. There we go. Extra power. Okay. Man, look how cool that snake looks, though. Oh, shit. So I need to remember to... Suck all that shit in. Ah, fuck. This is fun. And it looks cool as fuck. Not even gonna lie. Extra ball. Sweet. 
So I was trying to shoot him with my... with Oh, it's E. It says hold E to do this storm, but I'm holding... There we go. We got him more than halfway dead. Nice. Ah! So we gotta fill our bar up before we have the storm. I wanna be ready to hold the F key for my shielding. This would probably work better with the controller, guys. I'm not even lying. Okay. Oh, I forget. I didn't hit my shield in time. Get a ball going. Fuck. Extra ball. Well, good, because I lost one. Ah! I need to remember to use my shield, goddammit. Suck all that shit in. Give me my my storm. My shard storm or whatever the hell it's called. Okay. We're there, we're ready. Yeah, this is what killed him last time. Yeah, we can finish him off. He's fucking dead, man. Look at that. Wow, that's a bright. Really cool looking though, and I got some achievements there. Bo bonus level. Nice, 15 million points, and I suck at this, guys. Oh, I need to hit those, I need to, yeah. World cleared. We got another another 5 million bonus, a time bonus of 3.3 .3 million. World score, 24 million. Yeah, and I'm, I'm nobody, guys. Okay. Yeah. So if we continue, we got unlock, unlock, endless mode, and we unlock the endless co-op mode as well. Very cool. Okay, so if we continue here. Yeah, so I was uh, trying to dodge those bullets, and I guess I was supposed to hit them. Okay. So now we're starting over again at zero points and we unlock this new world. And it just looks like it's completely different and offers the same kind of gameplay that we're, you know, already getting used to, but a whole new level, whole new world, whatever. Look at this. Oh, you gotta dodge those, okay. Remember, we have our shield as well. Okay. I gotta remember that. You guys are probably screaming at me, Zax, remember your shield, dummy. But guys, this game is fantastic. I think this is well worth the $10 price tag. The only thing I want to see is I want to see how good the original Shatter is. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. Um, so bright there. So if we hit play now, now we have a story mode. We have an endless mode where you just play endless, but you have endless co-op. There's also a time attack that we can unlock. Look at some of these scores. Yeah, if I go back to the endless mode, you see I'm 182nd place. I like how you see what place you're in right there. So we have a time attack, a time attack co-op that you can unlock. We have a bonus mode here and then a boss rush as well. And you got to try to last as long as you can right there. And then you can come here. You can, you know, I haven't played this, so there's nothing there. Very cool game though, guys. I'm very happy with this game for ten dollar price tag. I think it's excellent. Let me go ahead and launch the original Shatter. Let's take a look at that. And remember, you guys can get the original Shatter for only a dollar ninety nine. This one comes in at ten bucks. So I'll be back right back with the original Shatter, guys. All right, here we are, guys. We just launched the original Shatter from way back. Like I said, it was a two thousand nine game. I know I bought it in two thousand nine on my PlayStation three. And it looks like it hit Steam in 2010. All right. Okay, we can see, guys, that way back when, probably 10 years ago, I set a score of 87 million here um, in story mode. And a lot of different modes here as well in the original Shatter. So it kind of looks the same, as you can see. Okay, I was 
really loud. Let's go ahead and go back to our options and go to settings and turn the music volume a little bit lower. Yeah, that's kind of out of control. All right, resume game. All right. See if I can use my mouse as well. Gotcha. Yep, can use my mouse as well. Um, options. Player one controls. Is there a uh, settings? Controller vibration. I don't see a way to control the sensitivity. Probably here, but he's in the game. All right. Fragments doubled. Yeah, you see that I have a really high score down there as well. This one for 2009, 2010 is a fantastic game and looks superb. Controls really well. Really vibrant. The music again is fantastic, guys. And you see I already got five over 5 million points and I set 87 million is my high score on the left. This one does feel a little bit more responsive than the new one. And the music is the same, for sure. Blow that shit back. Blow that shit back. There we go. Wave two. Wink. Look at my score going nuts down there in the bottom right. Unstoppable. Yeah, in a way, guys, I think I see what some of these people are talking about. How they're talking about how the first one was actually more, you know, better. It actually feels a little bit better to play this game than the new one. Not that the new one is bad. It's not at all. But why buy the new one at $10 when the original from 12 years ago has the same kind of great music, if not the same music. Looks like it has all the same levels, and it just plays better and looks just about as good. I mean, maybe if you if you really want the 4K, if you need the 4K, but if you're not playing on 4K, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think I think what I would do, guys. This is fantastic, though. If we if we get out of here and we go back to exit that game. I mean, I even like this screen here, but play Shatter, if we look at this, guys, we have the story mode, we have Endless here, we have Endless Co-op, we have Time Attack, we have Time Attack Co-op, we have a bonus mode, and we have the Boss Rush. So you have all the same stuff here as you have in the new one. I think the new one looks a little better as far as how vibrant and colorful it is, but this one certainly doesn't lack any kind of polish or shine. And, in fact, this one feels just a little bit better to me than playing the original, I mean, than playing the new one. So, if we get out of this, guys, and we look at the store page for Shatter, guys, you guys can see that you can buy this. I know this was 10 bucks for a long time, and I think they just lowered the price to $1.99 uh, when they announced the new Shatter Remastered coming out. So this is a fantastic fucking deal at $1.99. I think my recommendation, if you don't own either one of these games, is to uh, play, you know, go buy this game, go buy the original Shatter for $1.99. I'll have a link down to both games down below in the description. Buy the original Shatter for $1.99, start there, and then if you really, really love it, maybe you'll want to try out the new Shatter and make your own decision. Say, hey, is it worth the extra 10 bucks? and play it for a couple hours or up to a couple hours, and if you don't really think the new remastered version is worth the 10 bucks, then you can always refund it, and then just go back to playing the original Shatter. Or if you don't like either one of them, you know, you can refund both of them. But I don't know how you couldn't like this original Shatter game for two bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. This game is absolutely superb, and if we look back when I reviewed this game back in 2015, uh, you see that I paid 10 bucks for it, $9.99, and I gave this game, what did I give it? I gave this game a 94%. Uh, 
um, so back in 2015. And you see my original YouTube video got a lot of views since I uh, made this review of that review video seven years ago. So you can't go wrong with the original Shatter guys. There is a lot of Brick Breaker games coming out on Steam now that cost a hell of a lot more. I mean, they originally, uh, they launched the original remastered Arkanoid uh, about a week or two ago, and they're asking $30 for it. But you guys can go and get the original Shatter if you don't own it for just two bucks. See how much you like it, and if you love it, then buy the new Shatter and see if you think it's worth it. That's my recommendation. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the uh, the Shatter Remastered is definitely a good game. I think it's probably getting a hit, hit a little bit too hard because this makes it look like this is a bad game, or it's a bad value for 10 bucks. No, I think that Shatter Remastered Deluxe, if it was your only option here on Steam, would be a superb value. The only breakout game that's probably outdoing this one is their you know 12 year old shatter their original shatter for only two dollars so i kind of think pickpock probably stepped on their own foot by making the original shatter just two bucks uh because how can you this game would have to be five times better than the original shatter to be priced at 10 bucks and it's just not i don't think it's you know just based on my first impressions look I don't see how this game would be five times better than the original Shatter. But uh, maybe, you know, maybe you'll play the original one for two bucks and decide you want to get both and support the developer and give them 12 bucks. Uh, both games are worth 10 bucks. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Uh, yeah, e each of these games is worth a $10 price tag. But, you know, play the games, make uh, your own decision, guys. And uh, that's my opinion. But I am definitely not going to be refunding the remastered version. Uh, I'm going to be playing both of them. So. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.